Hi everyone, I want to show you this video I made of a tutorial of how I do my comic illustration. It's a five step process that I use that will take us through the pencils all the way to the color and then we're going to add some effects to the swords here. Now this is a character that I've created just for this tutorial and I'm going to guide you through and show you how to make this individual character. So the first step we're going to do is begin with the pencils but before that we need to open up a new document. The size doesn't really matter in this case, you just need a canvas to work with. So we're going to go ahead and open up a new document. And the main fact is you want to remember you want to have at least 300 resolution and the mode is set to RGB. Once that's set up, we'll begin with the pencils. Now the pencils, you want to just create a new layer, name it pencils, and we're going to select a brush size that would act similar like a pencil would. So something with a small brush tip. So I like to use a number three brush with a hard brush head. And we're just going to go in and start creating the foundation for the character. And that's what the pencil roughs are. It doesn't have to be an exact version of what you want to draw. It just needs to be a guide. So you want to create all of your shapes and your, and your values in, in a little bit of detail. Um, the more detail you put in, it will help when your inks, but it's not necessary. You just really want something to work off of, a guide almost. So we have the pencils in here, and I'm going to put some more detail in. And when you have the pencils done, you're going to want to lower the opacity to about 50%, so that while you're working on your ink layer, you'll be able to see your work clearly. So we're going to lower the opacity, and we're going to switch over to our inks. Now for my inks here, I've selected a thicker brush. I use about an 8 and I also switch over to a, a thicker or rougher bristle. Um, with using the Wacom tablet, you're going to get more value and you're going to get more varied line width, which looks nice on the finished ink piece. So here I'm just going in on my pencil roughs and I'm creating a little bit of detail work and adding some definition to all my lines. And here is the, is the big part of the uh, tutorial or the, the drawing itself. This is where you're going to spend most of your time in detail. So take your time, make sure you got all your lines where you want them to be. You may have to erase, that's okay, as long as you really have the inks laid out. So I'm just going through here and I'm putting more and more detail in. I, I think that I'm going to put in a little more of my own textures and styles. Um, that's just accustomed to my own way, which you'll see I will start doing here. And this is just to add a little bit more depth and texture to the design. I'm going to add some costume lines so that when we make our color selections we have something to guide us and and you'll see that I'm just finishing up the detail work on the inks here. The next step we're going to do is do an outline of the entire character. So I create a new layer and you set it on top of both the inks and the pencils you name it outline. You select a bigger brush size. I use about two to three brush sizes larger than I use for my inks and I go around just like I'm doing here around the entire image with a thick coat and what this is is a nice technique that the professionals use that allows the image to pop a little bit and also gives it a stylized look as you can see here which I really like. The next step is we're going to go ahead and put our shadows in. We're going to lower the opacity of this whole layer to about 50 percent so as you can see when the shadows are being placed it almost gives it like a, a gray and natural color to the shadow. And it also is going to allow for when we put the colors in the next step, you'll be able to see them through the shadows. So I'm just going through the entire image here. And the main thing you want to remember is you want to create a visual light source and, and start putting in the shadows where you think they would be. There's no exact science to it. As long as you just create shadows that look natural, that's the main goal you have. So I'm putting some in the knuckles to bring out the knuckles here and in the hand. And the shadows are going to help make the image come alive a little bit more. They create a little bit of depth and value. So I just go through and place all the shadows where I think they should be. I use the lasso tool to make these selections and then I fill with the black. And the black, being at a 50% opacity, comes out in this gray. Once the shadows are done, we'll move on to the color stage. 
So to do the colors, you're going to create a new layer called colors, and it's going to be set at the very bottom of the stacking corner, so that when you're doing your colors, you're going to see all of your inks and your shadows on top. You're going to make your selections with the lasso tool just like you did with your shadows, but you're going to do a color fill. For this costume, I'm going to go with blue, and I think I'm going to go with a nice gray for the accents of the costume. So I'm going to make my selections around the rest of the costume and fill with the color, just like I did with my shadows layer. And the final step is we're going to add the swords. So for the swords, I'm going to create some selections, and we're going to add some effects to the selections. So here, I'm going to give it a nice blade. I'm going to color it white. I'm going to go to the effects, and we're going to put on a drop shadow and add the color. And then you play around with the settings a little bit so you get a nice glow. We're going to add an outer glow. We're going to add another blue to that. I want the swords to be a blue. And then the final thing, you're going to do a color overlay. And you're going to make that blue as well. And it gives it a nice glow to the, to the style and the, and the blades themselves. I'm going to crop the image so that we have nice framework here. And I'm going to put my little signature on there. And there you have it. That's, I that's the ninja. I hope you liked it. Thank you. So, as you can see here, it's a final piece, and it's not as hard as it looks, as long as you use the five-step process, it really allows for efficient technique.